What's up guys and welcome back for some more Pokemon Sun and Moon. In the last episode we reached Akala Island and explored Route 4 and here we are in Paniola Town and uh, here is how. Hey PM1, glad I ran into you so we can see who's stronger now. My Grams must have thought I did good enough in my grand trial because he gave me a Z ring too. Having a battle in a place like Paniola Town feels like we are in a real old fashioned western showdown or something right? This is so cool. Though if we are real on Rebel Cowboys, we have got to make sure that our teams are healthy first. Okay, so he's gonna heal my Pokemon, but my Pokemon were healed beforehand. Alright, Pikachu and team, let's show this newbie what Alola's got. Who are you calling a newbie? You got crushed so many times by my Pokemon and that's what is gonna happen this time as well. So now he has a Z-Ring. And uh, he has Normillium Z on his starter Pokemon, so I guess uh, we have to watch out for that. And he's got a Pikachu, as always. And I've given my Zabzilla the Normillium Z so I can use uh, Brickneck Blitz. As he's gonna use Quick Attack, which does absolutely no damage. And this is probably gonna one shot this uh, Pikachu. And there it goes. Yep, it is a 1 KO. John grew to level 17. And he's about to send out Tara Cat. So that's why I'm gonna be going to John. Because Tara Cat is a bit bulky. So don't want to waste my time with uh, Munchlax by going for tackles, even though Munchlax can't take hits because of uh, Thick Fat. So this Tara Cat does have uh, Normillium Z, which he is going to use now. So John is going to die, I guess. He's going to use Breakneck Blitz. And... Rip. Oh wow, John lived with 4 HP, I'm actually surprised because that move is so strong. And John is probably gonna die at this turn because he does outspeed us. He's gonna use Fire Fang to knock us out. And now I can go into my Munchlax to get some experience and some affection points by beating this Tara Cat. And his Fire Fang is not going to be doing any kind of damage because uh, Munchlax does have Thick Fat. Which means Scratch. As I think one more tackle is going to knock him out. He's going to Scratch once again. And Tackle is going to knock him out. Alright. Munchlax. It was barely away from me level up and uh, I'm gonna pass on Encore because it's a really garbage move and Eevee grew to level 14. I just caught an Eevee on Route 4. I'm not gonna be uh, having it in my party. Man, that was some kind of battle. Our Pokemon all looked like they had a blast too. Right then. Here, I'll share my bit of good luck with you PM1. So he gave us a dire hit. You know how the totem Pokemon are all like surrounded by some aura of power? If you use a dire hit on your Pokemon and manage to land a critical hit, that aura won't mean a thing. You know Pokemon battles are just like sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And for poor how it's always he loses. So there's that. So he's gonna be going to Paniola Ranch. And we're gonna go there as well, but I'm gonna deposit my EV because I do not need it. And I'm gonna be trying to catch a Mud Bray in Paniola Ranch. So there goes EV. And we're good to go. Actually, I should buy some super potions. Let's buy like six of those. And that's it. So 
So let's go to Paniola Ranch. And let's battle this really old lady. She has a carbink in a luxury ball. I like the luxury ball's animation, the sparkles. And I have Bingle in front, I can just use Water Pulse and do some nice damage to this thing. Oh, wow, it didn't do too much damage, but uh, it's gonna be sharpened. Don't have some kind of rock move. Hopefully I get a higher roll and this thing dies. Nope, it barely lives. It has Rock Throw! That, is that gonna kill me? Yep. <laughs> That's just gonna kill John. I'm gonna be going to Zapzilla and just gonna be using Brick Break to knock him out. Oh wow, she uses Full Restore. That's so annoying. Yeah, that's doing no damage. That, that's bad. Actually, I'm gonna use... Uh, my Z power and use Z metronome. And you smack down that does quite a bit because she got a crit. What the hell? So let's see what this uh, Z move does. Oh god, it became a bubble beam. <laughs> nice. Hydro vortex. Damn. This is so awesome. This is gonna kill Arvin. It does not, what? After a crit, it does not die. Oh my god. It's probably because Munchlax has bad uh, special attack. Almost dead, almost. He's rock throw. And this brick break is gonna take this carving out. Good. And Zapsula grew to level 17. Wants to learn chip away. Let's see. Okay, it's, it's a decent move, I guess. I'm gonna replace that with uh, Tackle. She gave us a lot of money actually. Well, no surprise there because she used a full restore like this early on in the game. So I'm gonna head on to Pokemon Center and heal my Pokemon real quick because uh, John has fainted and Zapzilla is pretty low on health. There we go. And let's go back to Peniola Ranch. Oh, you've got to be the trial goer, right? The captain's actually here now, so come on. Okay, so Mallow's probably here. Miltank looks so funny while running. Yep, Mallow is here. Thanks for stopping by. The Moo Moo Milk from the Paniola Ranch is the best. It's so rich and creamy when you use it in white sauce and other things. Hmm, the taste can't even be described. Okay, so is she gonna give us to us for free? Oh, by the way, since I was lucky enough to run into you, I'll do you a, a little favor. She's gonna give us... Oh, wow, Stoutland has been registered. I thought uh, they'll give us Stoutland after we beat the trial. So we can use Stoutland to search uh, 
things. And if we go all the way down Route 5, you'll come out on Brooklet Hill. Okay. So Lana, is, I'm pretty sure, is a trial captain. So we have to go there. So let's go here. Was there a Pokemon or something? Okay, there was something. There was a lily pup. A level 15 lily pup, so gonna run away. And I think uh I really wanna find a mud bray here somewhere. Please be a decently high leveled mud bray. A Tauros, wow, nice. So we found a Tauros. And it has Intimidate. Tauros is extremely rare in this area. It has like 5% chance to appear. So we're gonna be using Watcher Pulse. It is gonna outspeed us. And this Watcher Pulse is gonna do a number on him. And he's gonna use Scary Face once again. That's fine. And... Oh, he called... A SOS Pokemon. Who... Oh. <laughs> oh my god, what a fail. His help didn't appear. So, gonna be using a Great Ball to catch this thing. Oh wow, it broke free. It's it's on red health. I'm gonna use it once again. Come on, Taros. Look at he's being annoying now. One, two, please don't. Okay, good. Finally. So it is registered. And, uh, nope. Uh, there is an item here. Got ether. Let's battle him, I guess. Yep, I am raising Pokemon. Pokemon Breeder Glen. Mudbray. What kind of Pokeball was that? I think it's a new Pokeball. Pretty sure. It wasn't a nest ball for sure. So we're gonna use Water Pulse. That is gonna do a lot of damage. He's gonna use Double Kick. That does nothing because we are part Flying type. And gonna be using Wing Attack to take him out. And there it goes. So let's continue on and try to find a Mudbray ourselves. It is gonna be a Lillipup. Okay. I need to catch a Mudbray, not a Lillipup. I think I should just continue on. And maybe then I'll find it.
That would finally please be decently high level, like level 15 or something. Oh, nice! It's level 15. It's a female, and I really want to nickname this thing Epona, but I think I'm just gonna be going for Water Pulse. Okay, does not die, but gets confused though. Okay, don't kill yourself, please. Got stamina. It's defense rose. It's gonna use mod sport. Okay, that's 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 not really a big deal. And it's gonna use uh luxury ball. Hopefully he does not break out. Because he is confused. He does not. Good. Actually, she does not. It's a female. I would have preferred if uh, this thing was uh, a male, but... But it's whatever. I can live with this. I'm gonna nickname it Epona. And that's why I wanted it to be a uh, male. Oh wow. There we go. Yeah, I'm sorry. My my bottom screen is a bit unresponsive at times. So we caught a mud bray and now I think I'm going to be using a repel because I got what I wanted. And I'm going to use a super potion on Epona and a potion on on uh, on Wingle, and I think we are good to go. I can teach. Uh... Okay, I cannot teach anything to Mudbray. So that's a bummer. I can give uh, him the. Phytinium Z, so that he can use. Uh, so that she can use the fighting type z power and i also have to use repel which i forgot there we go so now we are good to go <laughs> this is a nursery So in this game, uh, it does not work like daycare, so it does not level up your Pokemon. But uh, you can breed your Pokemon here, I guess. And she has given us an egg. And this is actually an Eevee egg. So it's going to take a while to hatch. So that's why I'm just going to deposit it in my PC. And I'm also going to be depositing Tauros. And uh, this thing has Bulldoze and Double Kick. That's something, I guess. I can put a uh, double kick here, bulldoze here. Only has two kind of good moves. It's a hardy nature, that's bad. All of my Pokemon have bad natures, unfortunately. So, let's go and... Should we go here? Not sure where we have to go. Okay. Let's battle this guy. He has a Sableye. Actually, I think he has Z-Ring too. He's wearing something. He's definitely wearing something in his hand. I'm gonna use uh, Water Pulse. As he's gonna use Nightshade. That is gonna do a bit. I'm gonna use Water Pulse once again. And now I can just finish the Sableye off. And there it goes. 
John grew to level 18. And uh, I think we only... Okay, it was just a watch. I was overthinking. It was just a mere watch. Is there anything here? Okay, it's Route 5. Okay. Um, I think I want to go here first. Uh, nope. We have to battle this trainer. And I'm going to have Zabzilla in front. So let's battle her. Pokemon Breeder Amanda. She has a Lillipop. And uh, I'm gonna be using Brick Brick. It's gonna use Baby Doll Eyes. That's gonna lower my attack. Hopefully, this takes it out. It lives. I'm gonna go for one more Brick Brick. That is going to probably take it out. Growlithe. Okay, going to switch to Epona. And use my ground type move, Bulldoze. Okay, he has Intimidate, so hopefully I get uh, some good damage with Bulldoze. It's gonna use Leer, as Bulldoze is gonna do so much damage even after Intimidate. This is actually good. And because of his speed drop, he's gonna die. Bulldoze's animation is so cool. I like it. Like it a lot. And Shigure grew to level 20. Alright, alright. There are some pseudo Wudos, so I cannot go this direction. Fair enough. So looks like we have to go this way. I'm gonna put uh I'm gonna put Zabzilla in front. And uh John in front as well. Actually, gonna be putting Epona as well in front so that Epona can get some uh, experience. So let's continue on. And uh, okay, he's a guide. Okay, so we have to beat all of the trainers on this route. So they have Happini and uh, Igly buff. So I'm gonna use uh, Chip Away. Actually, um, I'm gonna use yep. I'm gonna use Chip Away on Igly buff, and Epona is gonna use Z Move Double Kick. Actually, do I need to use Double Kick? Yep, I need to use Double Kick. I accidentally pressed Igly buff, I guess. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. I meant to attack Happini. Oh, it barely lives. And Zapzilla grew to level 18. And uh, Epona got some nice experience as well. And I'm gonna use Brick Brick, Happini, and use Double Kick on Happini as well.
Oh, God. Oh, don't attack my Munchlax with that. Okay. Thankfully, she does not. Yeah, stamina is pretty good. And this is gonna take this Hapini out. Right out. And Apuna grew to level 16. And there is how. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting uh, Zabzilla in front. Okay, Zabzilla in front is fine, I guess. Actually, I'm gonna put Shigura in front. And let's go. Man, I lost again. Oh, it's Gladian. Are you even taking this seriously? I am so seriously. I'm so seriously enjoying it. Enjoying it? You can enjoy Pokemon battling when you put everything you have into it, which clearly you haven't. Wah, PM1. This guy is pl plenty? I thought plenty. Plenty scary. You're PM1? Yep, that's me. What you gonna do? Not very cautious. Even some Pokemon have a better sense of self-preservation than you do, apparently. I'm Gladian. I battle for my partner, Null, to make it strong. Though most of our time gets used up by doing small jobs for Team Skull. Okay, so I guess he works for Team Skull. Battle me, I won't take no for an answer. Okay, so let's battle this guy, this edgy kid. This really edgy kid. Look at his hand! <laughs> he definitely reminds me of Odin from Fire Emblem Fates and Awakening. He's constantly holding his hand. <laughs> That's hilarious. So we're gonna use a uh, water gun. As, uh, it's gonna use wing attack another water gun and that is gonna kill the Zubat quite easily I think now he's gonna send out type null yep so gonna switch to Epona because type null is normal type right now So, just gonna use my Z move and destroy this thing completely. As he's gonna use tackle, that's gonna raise my defense. And there it goes. All like pummeling. Hopefully this just takes him out. It actually does not. What the hell? This 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 thing took that attack like it was nothing. He's gonna use tackle once again. My defense is at plus one, and I think he got a crit or something. Actually, he didn't. That's gonna do quite a bit, and let's just finish this off. He's gonna use tackle, that's not gonna kill us. Epona's stamina is so good, I really like this ability. And bam. So there goes your uh, bootleg Arceus. <laughs> His face. He's seriously pissed, like, he's gonna punch that wall, I'm pretty sure. It's not like me to slip up like that. I've got to keep fighting stronger opponents, 
Looks like I'm still not ready. What? Strong opponents? That kid here, his Pokemon aren't weak. And sure, it's fine to enjoy battling, but this brat, he's just using that as an excuse not to try hard because he cannot beat the Kahuna. Because he cannot beat Hala when he's serious. You know my grams? Wait, so you think I'm strong? Oh, look at you, little Gladian. Aren't you just being a real cool guy? How is so annoying. And we got some teams called Grunts. I guess it's no surprise a homeless kid would turn out spineless too, huh? No worries, we've got enough backbone to cover for you. Just give it up already. Huh? You know, you cannot beat me. You'll just get your Pokemon hurt for no reason. They're good Pokemon. We came all this way and for what? For a big fat waste of our time, thanks to you. If you hadn't gotten in our way, we could have stolen the totem Pokemon from Brooklet Hill. Let's get out of here. Look, the Murkrow are crying and it's time we should be flying. Oh wow, nice rhymes. Listen up, good Gladian. The boss is like you, that's true. But you're just some hired help we keep around for when we need you. You aren't part of Team Skull, not really. And you never will be, got it? You better get it. This guy. So, that was it. Thanks PM1 and Brioni too. It was a good battle. Looks like I've got to train up my team if I'm gonna take on the trial at Brooklet Hill next. Here PM1, take these with you. We're gonna beat this island challenge. He's gonna give us three revives. Nice. And he's just gonna run away. So I guess that is going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.